It's interesting that people throw shade in order to keep us from shining. But what I love about God is God always finds a majestic, mysterious way to make certain things work out for our good when they were intended for our bad. While some people throw shade to keep you from shining, God is the only person that can throw shade that helps you shine. When you're living with God, when you're living in the closeness of God, when you're living in the favor of God, God is equivalent to a mother eagle whose wingspan is about 50 feet long and when a predator gets ready to run up and harm one of their eggs or harm one of their little baby eagles the eagle does not fight the predator the eagle simply spreads its wings over its children so that the people or the predators that were trying to harm them initially can't even find them because God has a way like the eagle of creating shade so that it becomes harder for the devil it becomes harder I'm gonna preach it whether y'all help me or not it becomes harder for your enemies to come up and find you because you got a God who will stretch his arms out and keep you under the shadow of his almighty power God says for those of you who don't mind dwelling in my presence living in my presence for you I will make sure you are always kept under my shade now, now half of y'all are shouting and half of y'all looking at me like, huh? It's because you ain't living every day in the power of the almighty God. And let me tell you this, the world is getting so crazy, time is, time is out for those of y'all playing church. All these one foot in, one foot out, playing the hokey pokey with the Holy Ghost. Uh, this ain't no you decide when you feel like it kind of time. Either you all in or you all out. Uh, either you gonna be about that life or you ain't about that life. Where are the saints in the room that can say I'm ride or die and I'm going with God, not just on Sunday, but every day. I want to be in God's presence at my job, at my work, at my school, in the bed, when I'm driving, when I'm traveling, I always want to be in God's presence. The reason I'm here tonight is because I'm so glad that God's been throwing shade. He's been throwing shade over your children. He's been throwing shade over your job. He's been throwing shade over your body. When you were in that accident, it could have gone a whole lot worse. You didn't know it but God was throwing shade that relationship that you thought you wanted and God ended it for you right on time it was God throwing shade they thought they fired you really they just gave you a vacation because God was throwing shade if he wouldn't have moved you you would have never left on your own it's because God was throwing shade the very person that have been dragging your name through the mud this year they didn't know it but God was using them to give people recognition of your name because before they started talking about you they didn't even know that you existed but God was throwing shade and he let you have some free marketing and some free advertisement shake somebody his hand uh, say I'm all in the shade my ministry is shaded my anointing is shaded now unto him who the able to shade you yourself say neighbor I'm going to sleep tonight touch yourself now and look at your neighbor say this person you looking at tonight is a testimony that God will keep you in the middle of your hell God will keep you in the middle of your hell God won't he keep you in the middle of your hell go ahead and bless him like you know he'll keep you 
He'll keep you. He'll keep you. He'll keep you. He'll keep you. Say yeah. 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 this thing. Don't play with this thing. Don't play with it. <laughs> this next shout ain't for everybody. It's just for the folks who've been kept under the shadow. Oh! about Jesus, how he brought me out. I got so much to shout about. I can shout, shout, shout. Oh, my. Yeah. This is what it looks like when you've been kept. This is what it looks like. 